Welcome to Maroon Lust Kenny Story Part 9. And in this story, well, we start off with Kenny. He's temporarily back from his vacation, only to brag to his brother about the, all the cool stuff he's seen and done in the jungle. All the stuff he's collected. He's just so excited. He's like, you can't believe what I just been through, okay? I mean, I saw a talking skeleton, and it was dancing. It kind of freaked me out and all that. I found some treasure. I found some cool artifacts. You missed out on a lot of stuff, Scott. Oh, my gosh. You can't believe what I've seen. I haven't caught many different fish. Oh, wait, did I catch fish? <laughs> oh, well. And there was, I think there was a scene where he did catch fish. Anyways, Scott's just really excited about his brother's uh, journey into the jungle. He's like, can you show me some pictures? <laughs> He's like, yeah, Vince, I'll show you some pictures. Yeah, he's showing him some cool pictures, like, from his phone. He's like, look at all the stuff that happened, you know? Look at all the pictures I've taken in from the jungle. That's so cool. And now he's back into the jungle. We skip ahead a day, and he's back into the jungle. He can just cannot stay away from the jungle. There's so much to discover. Maybe he'll discover the same thing. Who knows? Maybe he'll discover something different. Sometimes the same temples reset, and you get different booby traps every single time. So I think that's awesome. There's different booby traps every single time. So these things reset. Some of these I had to speed up because it just takes a long time to just get through these little gates here. Or portals, whatever you call them. Just to see what's on the other side. If you... If I actually knew... I broadcast, I would. I think I just figured it out. But I got so many video clips. I gotta get up on YouTube before I can even start broadcasting first. Which could be 11 to 15, probably 15 videos before I can actually start recording again. The broadcasting, you know. Anyways, we're back on this path to see... Go back through this gate. And then, because it leads to other gates. Some of them are open, some of them are closed. But whatever. I'm also wondering. If anyone like my daughter Zoe narrating, helping me narrate. Then that's cool. If she wants to do that, that's fine. I let her do that sometimes. I think she's rather entertaining. If you don't like it, then well... I don't know what to tell you because I'm sticking with that. She's rather entertaining in my videos. I don't care if she makes sense or not because she's just she's just guessing just like just like me sometimes. I haven't seen these videos in a while and I just guess. Sometimes I spoil, sometimes I guess. Look at them bees. They just fly right past Kenny. They don't sting him or nothing. They just fly right past him. I hate it when some of these gates are closed. Like, oh, that'd be cool to go through that. I don't think I've been through that. And they're closed. I don't know how many times I go back to this spot. And some of these gates, the same gates are still closed. Like, I like to go through them gates. Sometimes I don't know which one I've been through and which one I haven't. Because it's just, it's confusing. I think I've seen them all. So I'm not sure if once Kenny gets done with all his exploring, if she'd go back or just do outdoor retreat maybe I should do that I mean it'll be later because I still got some plenty of jungle clips to go through Randy there's a ton of material first let me cover the jungle which it seems to be very exciting for Kenny he's his first time being in the jungle not the first time my first time playing the jungle adventures 
Well, actually, some of these I played in one day. So I took a ton of video. Wow. I've seen all this. Then, then I gotta backtrack. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I've seen this. Just, just for future reference, I made him. I, I made a house for Kenny. Like when he s settles down eventually, he's got his own study, and it's surrounded by all this El Salvador artifacts. He's got all this. All these artifacts in his house. You know, it's just his own little study. He's going to keep people out. And it's just his study. He's got a bed and a kitchen and a table. Just in case he just, just doesn't want to be bothered. You know, his own little man cave. And it's got a Aztec themed pool. And this wall, these Aztec walls surrounding it. So it's like a privacy fence. But it's a wall. It's really cool. That'll be way in the future. But for now... I think this is the first time visiting this. I'm not sure. Because at one time he did find a chest. That had a treasure in it. See, the little chest right in the corner there. But for those who haven't, this is what what you see is what you get when you play the jungle adventures. I wish you'd go up them steps. Because why are them steps even there if you can't go up them? I mean, it's a waste of stairs. That's the whole point of exploring. Not everything should be off limits. You can, those stairs, I mean, where do they go? I mean, it'd be nice. Or there's some stairs, there's a path over here. Why can't you go down them steps? You know, some of these places like in the waterfalls, why can't he explore those? Because that would be so cool. Because like in like in jungle movies, they do that. Nothing's off limits. <laughs> So why should everything in Sims be off limits? It's just a guess. I mean, it's just a suggestion. I mean, I, I don't. All these rare trees and stuff in here. I'm not a. I don't have a green thumb. Maybe if I added myself into the game. Well, my husband is a uh, has a green thumb. He'd be the one collecting all the exotic plants. <laughs> <laughs> he activated something. Maybe he found a stone he just got to put in there. What do you call those things? I can't remember. What do you call the one, that, that thing he's holding? That he's put the, di the, the, the crystal in. I forgot what you call those. But those are cool. And then, I, th I don't know if it's the next episode. Oh, in, in two episodes, I think he, he uses these curses. I cannot wait to get that because it's funny. <laughs> It'd be funny to some people because there's one scene he curses his father. Oh, wait, I spoiled too much. <laughs> his father did kick him out of the house. <laughs> He's going to curse him. It's going to be funny. Also, I think it's about time you meet his little sister Chancellor. Yeah, it's about time. If he if Kenny is twenty in this, then his sister would be four. She'd be four years old. Uh, this Kenny was sixteen when she was born. So, yeah, eventually you'll get to meet his little sister Chancellor. Remember the blonde fair lady? Yeah, that's Chancellor's mom. I think once she had the baby, Charles eventually didn't give her any visitation rights. He eventually just kicked her to the curb and says, No, nope, Chancellor's mine, though. Sorry. You didn't, you didn't keep in touch with her. What a butt. I mean, seriously. 
I've seen, like I said, I've seen this before. The only difference with this temple is some of the booby traps are different. Yeah, see that, I don't think that booby trap was there last time we explored this area. I mean, or that, or that booby trap in the, in the back. I mean, I don't think that was there. Whatever you call these things, I call them booby traps. I don't know, because if you get it wrong, you activate the wrong button or whatever, and something bad happens. So yeah, I call them booby traps. <laughs> Hope I don't get censored for that. I mean, what else do you call them? Let me know. Here we are, Kenny. Um, going through more artifacts. Or digging for more artifacts. What I'm worried about. Um, when I tried the hidden objects cheat, that I thought that I saved a bit of time when I built his uh, uh, man cave that... Uh, that all his artifacts come with them. But here's the thing. The, all just, the only thing they show in build mode. After I put in the hidden objects cheat is. Mostly the gold plates and the gold frogs. And the lumps of dirt you have to uncover. To find different artifacts. That's it. So I can't just. So I have to keep his objects. So when he moves. He has to keep taking his artifacts with him. <laughs> the only thing I got set up in his man cave for, as far as artifacts go is the gold plates and the gold frogs. So when he eventually moves into this house with uh, his man cave attached to it, I mean, that means I have to take all his... Uh, I mean, I could sell the plates he's already collected. And the frogs he's already collected. Eventually, after I get done with done exploring through the jungle and whatnot, maybe Kenny can settle down. Eventually, he he's gonna have to, or maybe go to law school. That's what eventually he does. He does go to law school. See, that wasn't there the last time he was in this temple. That thing he stepped on. That was it that wasn't there last time. Yeah, go through go open that chest first. Wherever he found. Yeah, dig through that pile. See what you can find. Something that's gonna make you a lot of money. When he does settle down, if I choose that path, you think he's going to find um, the right person for him or a woman that sees his money and be like, Woo, you have money. <laughs> I mean, who should his first wife, who should his wife be? <laughs> because in the original, in my stories I've written, he, um, he, he was married for 20 years to a gold digger who was only into him for his money. <laughs> think she has to stick with that or have him meet somebody different? I mean, I think I should stick to the gold digger side because, I mean, if it makes sense, she sees him with all that money and be like, give me some money. Or maybe she's heard of his father and be like, Oh, that's your dad? He's so rich. It's like, yeah, that's my dad. Why? Can we go out on a date? <laughs> it's like, oh, now you're interested in me because I have money. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested in you because you've got money. <laughs> I think that's the wrong reasons to marry somebody. They gotta be good looking. I mean, come on. <laughs> There's gotta be some physical attraction. You just can't marry somebody for money. I mean, just gotta be physical attraction. That's just me. But, whatever. 
Anyways, I speed up these videos because, well, it takes too long to go through all of the temple. See, he's been through this one. I know it. It's just going through him. Ooh, he's found some treasure. He's opened the treasure chest. Yay. For the second time, I think, he's been through that tunnel. And that cave. Now he's got to find some artifacts to dig through. First, he's got to teleport. <laughs> he's going to have to teleport. Because it's just a, so, so much simpler. And yes, I did cheat. Before he went to this jungle, I used a MC commander to um, max out all his skills. And to uh, make sure he has certain traits. That way he's not tired all the time. He's not hungry all the time. He doesn't have to go to the bathroom as much. He, yeah. I got him some traits. No, not through aspirations. I didn't complete any aspirations. Except for, I'm doing that. No. I'm not cheating through that. I did cheat get him some points because you can there's a cheat where you can just add po satisfaction points. So that's the end of that episode. Um, there'll be a number ten. So stay tuned for that.